India is the second largest producer of food grains in the world. According to a UN report, about 230 million people are chronically or acutely malnourished. The problem, experts say, lies in the distribution system which fails to feed the poor. Like Rinki, who lives with her family of six in Panchkula district of the state of Haryana, it is difficult for her and her husband to feed themselves. Two young children and their aging parents. But they don't receive the allotted food grains despite having a ration card. Each year, under the public distribution system, India spends about 500 billion rupees to procure and distribute food grains. But due to inefficiencies in the system, poor families do not get the grains they need. Many say it is due to fake ration cards, siphoning grains and corrupt officials. It is nowhere in the country that we have a report that food grain for PDS is not available. When there is no report like that, then camouflaging that we are rotting and then food is not available, I think this is totally not acceptable. In 2009, the government of India introduced the biometric card system as a possible solution to feed each and every Indian. This is how it works. Every smart card will have finger impressions of the owner along with impressions of three members of the family. It stores details about the amount of grains purchased by the individual. The vendor also has a separate card which is needed to authenticate the transaction. This card shows how much stock the vendor has received and sold and is updated each time a buyer buys ration. A sum of 1.37 billion has been allocated to introduce the smart card system as a pilot project in three fair price shops in Panchkula district of Haryana in order to increase the efficiency of the distribution system. Government officials are optimistic about this new system to reduce inefficiency and corruption. Under smart card system, transactions can take place only when the genuine consumer visits the fair price shops. There is actually no scope of diversion once the system is implemented properly. But opponents say the technology is not the solution. Only smart card systems have failed, coupons have failed, iris detection has failed in a state in this country because our corrupt people, our ration shop dealers, our government officials, our policemen and our bureaucrats and let me say particularly our MLAs are very adept at using technology to make corruption you know, even more prolific. According to experts and news reports, fake ration cards are not the only problems taxing the distribution system. Improper storage facilities that are causing food grains to rot is also an issue. Take Rinki for example. She lives just 20 minutes away from Azad colony in Panchkula district where the biometric system is in place. Yet, she hasn't received any food under the system for the past four years. But it is a little more complex. Activists like Viraj Patnayak argue that in order for the poor to get their food, it should be available to everybody. Before 1996, the government guaranteed food to every citizen in the country, irrespective of whether they were poor or rich. Everybody had a guarantee for a minimum support uh, quantity of food grains and it was an individual entitlement. So if you had a larger family, you had a greater entitlement. If you had a smaller family, you had a smaller entitlement. Now that was a guarantee that government gave till 96. The government is currently devising a food security bill, which, if is passed and implemented, will give every citizen a right to food. But is it even possible? और ये खाना क्या देंगे इनका खुद का पेट नहीं भरता थे दूसरे इनका क्या भरेंगे ये तो गरीबों को हटाने के चक्कर में है
कहते हैं गरीबी हटाओ गरीबी हटाओ गरीबी नहीं हटा रही ये तो गरीबन ने हटाने के चक्कर में नए युवकन को बहुत कुछ नॉलेज है कि ये सुधार कर सकते हैं अगर ये आगे आए तो